All right, what's going on guys? Try back again, here to bring you another video. This one's gonna be doing my review for season one, episode 10 of Gotham, the television series. This one is called Lovecraft. All apologies for my hat hair. I'm just getting started for the day. Gonna have my shower after filming. So <laughs> that said, um, got to check out Gotham episode 10 last night. Been watching every episode week by week, but I haven't been doing reviews for every single one because um, not sure how much interest there is in the series, but decided I would do this one because Man, the last two episodes have been incredible. The Harvey Dent, which is episode 9, and then this episode, which is 10, with Lovecraft, have just been awesome. So just to kind of give you an idea of what's going on in the series, if you've missed or you haven't checked it out recently, I'd highly suggest you do. We've got a bunch of things happening, but our main, uh, our main two things that are occurring right now in Gotham is basically uh, you have Harvey Dent, who um, is a councilman, and... He, he, you guys know Two Face from the, uh, you know, the comic book series, and he's more like the comic book series version of Two Face versus like the Dark Knight version. And uh, I actually like the actor they chose for him because he's got really, really dark black hair, and he looks just like your, you know, cartoon or your comic book version of Harvey Dent, Two Face, minus the, uh, you know, his face isn't halfway yet, right? Isn't isn't two and two, uh, but he's got his coin and all that good stuff, um, double sided coin, and. Um, he, you know, he, he's a weird character right now. We don't really know what his ambitions are. We don't really know what his motives are uh, and what exactly is happening with him. And, and the show is really good at kind of keeping us in the dark about certain things. Like, we understand in the last two episodes, basically, Selena Kyle uh, witnessed the Wayne murder. So she witnessed as, as a child. Um, and and she's, she's younger in the show, so it's Bruce, right? So she sees Bruce's parents be killed. She can spot the killer or she's, she's a good person to have because she was actually there. That said, you know, the person who did it, you know, she didn't actually get to see his face because he was wearing a balaclava and all that. So it covered everything anyway, but she was there anyway. So basically, um, you have Gordon. He still wants to catch the person who actually uh, killed them, even though the public thinks that they've already uh, already killed the guy who was responsible for it, which was uh, Poison Ivy's dad um, earlier on in the uh, the pilot episode in that. So Mario Pepper. So um, he still, you know, wants to find out the person who really did it. Uh, Bruce still wants to find out the person who really did it. And uh, you get uh, Harvey involved with the case and wanting to find out as well, too. So he pins it on this. Uh, Lovecraft character, which we at this point uh, were led to believe that he really had nothing to do with it at all, and uh, Harvey was just out to get this guy for some reason, which we don't really know uh, too much. You know, he, he suspects that that this guy was behind it, but it seems to us that he wasn't. So, in episode ten, he's killed off by these assassins that come in that we were led to believe were initially hired by him. So it was a nice kind of uh, flip or there where you know you've got these assassins they're chasing after. Um, you know, Bruce and Selena because she can she can put it on, she can, um, you know, blame Lovecraft for it. So who hired, you know, these people? W what happened with that? We're still kind of in the dark on, we don't know 100%. But you have this one uh, female, she's got, you know, long black hair. And she, she kind of reminds me of like a, a copperhead. Uh, she's got some kind of ability because she's able to basically strangle people very quickly and easily she actually uh, makes Gordon pass out in a fight one-on-one -on -one against uh, against him so she's got some some crazy abilities and uh, she's still on the loose too uh, was trying to get to Selena and then did get to this Lovecraft character and actually killed him so it was a nice little flip when Gordon actually found this Lovecraft character and and we realized that he wasn't the person who hired them and they were after him too and then they ended up actually killing him with Gordon's gun so uh, then, of course, after all of this is said and done, Gordon gets uh, transferred to Arkham. So he's going to be working there now, I guess, um, you know, versus actually being in the police department as a detective with uh, Bullock. So, um, you know, that's the one storyline we have really enjoyed everything to do with it so far. Interested to see where they go from here with it. Uh, in addition to that, we had some great bonding moments between Bruce and, you know, young Bruce and young Selena, which is really cool as well, too. Um and they just play off each other really well. They're just like kids having fun. You know, Alfred had some super 
badass moments of this episode where he's either he's either paying people for information or he's beating people up or he's you know, I don't know shooting a guy all kinds of different stuff that, that he does he's just a super badass in the show so uh, that's the one storyline in addition to that we also have kind of the mob story which you have um, Fish Mooney who is Jada Pickett Smith's character and then you have Falcone and she is part of Falcone's uh, mob part of his uh, crime family and she pays up to him uh, and basically he doesn't, well, he kind of knows, but he doesn't 100% believe it because a lot of people, you know, would like to uh, overthrow him, so to speak. Uh, Fish is actually, you know, making, uh, taking steps towards actually doing that. And it's cost him a lot of money, blown up uh, a lot of his uh, reserve money. And, uh, you know, it just caused a lot of trouble for him. So he's increased tariffs to the people who are under him. You know, in the mob, they have, even they have a pyramid system down. You've got the person at the head, like the top of the family or, you know, the top mobster. And then everybody underneath has to pay up to him for protection, which basically just means because he's more powerful, you have to pay up to him and then down and down and down and down and down pyramid structure and then he may pay up to somebody in another you know another uh, city or something like that and it's just this whole you know crazy crime organized crime infrastructure um so you know that's a really interesting situation there too because you have her she's trying to basically knock out the guy who's above her and take his position and she's a really cool character too because she's not a comic book character she's a new character for the series that was created for the series and she's played of course by Jada Pinkett Smith who is a badass female in in the show you know she'll she'll stab guys and she'll beat guys up and she's not a damsel in distress or anything of the sort if you turn your back on her you know she'll uh, she'll stick it in so <laughs> so uh, it's good stuff uh, you know I really really love the series it's by far the best uh, live action uh, series, I think, for, you know, like a Gotham type show, like either a Batman. You know, we had the Adam West 60s and, you know, that, that's pretty awesome too for its time. But I mean, that's that's a whole different time at this point. You know, this show right here is an excellent kind of um, real life live action TV series version of the Batman universe when Batman is young, which is something we never really seen before that focuses on Jim Gordon. But I love the way they touch on all these different characters. They bring in Bruce, even though he's a kid, and they make him relevant to the story. You know, you've got Bullock, and he's really fun and interesting. You've got the, you know, the, the mob and what's happening with them. And then you have all these other characters they're bringing in, too, that are done really well and very interesting. Uh, also, you have Gordon's uh, girlfriend, Barbara, who's uh, possibly bisexual. <laughs> I don't know what's going on with that. That's a little weird. I don't. That, that's one part I don't really like too much. But everything else is really spot on. In terms of this episode here, Lovecraft, I'm going to give this one. I'm going to give this one a nine and a half out of ten. It's really, really solid, and um, you know, it feels like you're watching a movie. It doesn't really feel like all the time you're watching just a regular show. The only thing is, is that the storyline is slowed down because you you don't want to. If you're doing 22 episodes in a season, you don't want to have characters just being killed off like left, right, and center. Like you wouldn't want Falcone and Fish to just kill each other off right away. You know, you kind of have to play that out over the season at a slower pace but there's a lot of storylines going on there's a lot of drama a lot of uh you know crossing back and forth and characters you know not being able to trust each other and just a lot of goodness of course the penguin's in there too and he's incredible in this um if you like Batman, I really cannot recommend it enough. The show is just, uh, it's just awesome. It's, it's, in my opinion, the best DC uh, live action TV series we've had yet. Uh, and yes, that's compared to The Flash, Arrow, uh, Smallville, um, you know, any of the other ones we've had. There's been a good number of them. You know, you can point to Constantine or, or the others. Um, Gotham, for me, is a standout. I think it's the best one so far. And I'm not just saying that because I'm a Batman fan. Uh, and Batman's my favorite comic book character, but I'm also saying that because he's not really, you know, Bruce is young Bruce, he's not really Batman yet. I'm saying that because of how good the show, how well the show is done. It's really high quality. So if you guys have been checking out Gotham, let me know what you think, write your comments below, what, you, what you've been thinking about the episodes, or if you haven't checked it out, let me know if you're going to give it a try. I, I would highly, highly recommend it, highly suggest it, not even if you just like uh, superhero stuff, but if you like mob stories and drama and cop dramas, you'll really like it as well too. Anyway, uh, if you guys like the video, please thumb it up below. If you want to help support the channel, please share it. Please favorite it. And that's it for this one, guys. I'll see you for the next one. If you want to see me do more Gotham reviews, write in the comments below. Thumb it up. Let me know what you want. And uh, I'll continue to do them because I'm watching it anyway. You know, I'm not going to stop watching it. It's a great show. Anyway, yeah, that's it for this one, guys. See you for the next one. As always, it's Trav. Same peace.